I am back in Ireland. Yes, it was a very last minute decision, but I am here, I am home, and yeah, please watch to the end to find out why, you know, where my head is at, but for now I'm just going to show you what my last day in Sydney was like, and yeah. Um, today's a weird day for me, it is actually my last day of work. It's a long story, I will get into it though, because I owe you guys, you know, I said I was going to be transparent, but... Yeah, it's my last day of work. I've been working here the last three days. You know, I've met some great people. I actually really enjoy it. Um, but yeah. I've just finished work and it feels weird, but I actually feel really, really excited. Um, it's been about four months now since I've seen my friends and family. So, I'm really excited to go home. Um, I was in a bit of a weird place yesterday, like my head was kind of all over the place. But now, since I'm finished work and stuff, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling way better about going home. I will most definitely not miss bin chickens though, that is for sure. These creatures, they're literally little dinosaurs. Um, they creep me the fuck out, but That is a dinosaur. I ended up spending my last day in Sydney going to Coogee Beach, coming home, watching the sunset and just overall just chilling out. Final morning of sleeping on this couch for a while. I've been sleeping on this couch for the past like two months. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I actually feel like I woke up this morning and I feel so sick. My throat is like all weird, but I think it's from the, the AC but it is quarter to eight right now. Our flight is at half 11, so we're just getting ready to leave, but I'm actually excited now. I'm very excited. That I'm really happy about is that I actually reached my goal weight. Once I started traveling, I started traveling on 97, and now I have just hit. Boom. <laughs> Let me tell you, this plane had the best selection of movies of all time. They had like all the Marvel films and all everything like that. So I knew I wasn't going to be bored. But um, yeah, so we got onto the plane. This is uh, Dylan's big head in front of me. And they ended up giving us this little like travel bag with like a toothbrush, eye mask and everything. So it was sorted until this happened. Fucking crying babies. But I got my book out. I read a few pages and then the first meal came. It ended up being a chicken meal with like ro roast potatoes and veg and it was absolutely unreal i won't lie they also gave us this fruit which was fucking unreal and i don't know what it is but it was so nice and then we arrived in china i have never been more depressed in my life that is this airport horrible <laughs> man you're in the back rooms right now what is that there's nowhere to eat there's nothing to do there's like one shop and that's pretty much it and we're here for yeah and they don't do apple pay we're here for the next seven hours so after a long horrible seven hours we ended up getting on our plane and i got that extra leg room thank god okay we have Chilies. made it to Rome and it is like minus 24 degrees, but <laughs> realistically it's 8. It, it is 8. Uh, we're going collecting our bags now and then we'll be on our way home. We were waiting so unbelievably long for our bags. Like look how many bags are on here, but we ended up getting them and got some food before our next flight. We made it. We nearly died on the plane, but we are back in Dublin. Yeah. Here's me shivering from the cold, but I got the bus home and then I surprised my family. Well. <laughs> um, so a lot of you, sorry, I'm sick right now, so my throat is gone but a lot of you are probably wondering why i'm home 
Um, the truth is, it was too expensive for me to stay over there. I had a job, but I wasn't making nearly enough to to actually like live there. So I was more like surviving than actually living. Um, it got to a point where I had to like be borrowing money and stuff, and then I wouldn't have enough to like pay back all this kind of stuff like that. You know, I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, so I said I would come home for maybe a few months, save up, and go back because I really did love it there and i definitely do want to go back so i'm home now for i don't know how long but i'm gonna start work now again next week at home and save up a bit of money and see when i can go back but i probably will keep recording videos at home like i'm going to like a concert in like a few weeks record like funny clips and vlogs and stuff so if, if you do want to stick around um i won't just leave this channel in the dust because I, I do want to keep it up i do love making videos and stuff but um but yeah that's 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 pretty much it <laughs> i will be back i will be back